Hi, I'm Chris Toplak from The Signature Spot. And today's short story is how Killer Kowalski earned his nickname. Why did Kowalski earn his killer nickname? All because of a cauliflower ear. Now, in case you don't know what a cauliflower ear is, the most common cause is a hit to the ear or repeated hits to the ear. And this is really just small collections of blood that clot and they block the flow of blood and nutrients. And it's usually related to sports injuries. You see this a lot in mixed martial arts. So in 1952, Kowalski faced a wrestler known as Yukon Eric in Montreal. Kowalski frequently utilized a move where he would jump off the top rope and he would put his shin bone across his opponent's chest. When Yukon Eric was against the ropes, Kowalski would attempt to execute his signature move by climbing up to the top turnbuckle and jumping off. This time around, Yukon Eric attempted to turn away, so Kowalski's shin bone ended up scraping against the cheek in a tight manner, which caught Eric's cauliflower ear. This led the ear to fly off, yes, fly off and roll across the ring like a little ball as the referee picked it up. With the ear still throbbing, the referee would look over to Kowalski and say, that's his ear. By this point, Yukon Eric had already headed to the locker room with a towel wrapped around his head, and the referee would then place the ear in his pocket and proceed to raise Kowalski's arm, declaring him as the winner. Let's fast forward several days later. Kowalski would head over to the wrestling office in an attempt to get paid and was asked to visit the hospital and apologize. And with several newspaper reporters in the hallway, Kowalski visited the hospital and found Yukon Eric sitting on the edge of the bed with bandages wrapped around his head. Kowalski was reminded of the old nursery rhyme, Humpty Dumpty, and would say, Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall, Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Meanwhile, in the hallway, newspaper reporters could overhear Kowalski's laughter, and they wrote stories on him laughing at the sight of Yukon Eric's missing ear. So the following week, fans would scream at Kowalski, you're nothing more but a killer, as they threw bottles at him. From then on, he was officially known as Killer Kowalski. A rematch between the two transpired on January 14, 1953 at the Montreal Forum. This also happened to be the first ever televised wrestling match in Canada. And that's how Killer Kowalski earned his nickname. Follow The Signature Spot on social media for daily content on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And visit thesignaturespot.com for weekly articles.